corned beef is a delicious, flavorful preparation of brisket that I really look forward to eating every St. Patrick's Day. So lots of different ways you can cook it, but I really like to use sous vide because it results in some different textures that you can't get traditionally cooking corned beef. I'm Jason Logston from Amazing Food Made Easy, and today I'm going to show you how to make some amazing sous vide corned beef. When you traditionally cook corned beef, you generally braise it, and that's cooking it at a higher temperature, you're really breaking down all the collagen, and the meat just starts to fall apart. But the meat itself also gets pretty dried out, and you really depend on the flavors of the sauce to keep it moist. But with sous vide, you can cook it at lower temperatures, and it results in meat that's even more moist than it normally is. You don't have that collagen breaking down, but it's super flavorful, and if you cook it long enough, it's really tender and really amazing. My preferred time of temperature for corned beef is 131 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 to 48 hours. It's a long time to cook it, but it is brisket, which is a really tough cut. And over 24 to 48 hours, it really breaks it down and tenderizes it, transforming it into an amazing flavorful dish. Some people prefer a little bit higher of a temperature at 135 or maybe even 140. It turns out a little bit drier, but it has closer to a traditional texture to it. So it's something worth trying if you do want to experiment a little bit. And if you're looking for a more traditional texture, I recommend looking around 156 for just starting to get into that breaking down phase. It's really good, it tastes more braise-like, but it still has a lot more structural integrity, and a lot more moisture than if you did a traditional braise. Or for an even more traditional result, you can go up to 176 degrees. It's really gonna start breaking apart and become fall apart tender, like more traditional brisket would be. At that temperature, you only need to cook it for 12 to 24 hours usually for it to completely tenderize and break down. So you have a whole lot of options depending on what you want your final corned beef to taste like. And that's one of the things I like about sous vide. You have complete control over how your corned beef is going to turn out. I really prefer to cure my own corned beef. It turns out a little more flavorful and you have more control over the salt levels and the seasonings that go into it. If that's something you're interested in, I have a link below that will give you all the information you need to try it yourself. This recipe will also work just fine with most store-bought corned beef. One of the reasons that corned beef is traditionally braised is because it's so salty. So you cook it with a lot of cooking liquid, and it pulls out some of that salt, and it makes it more palatable. With sous vide, you're not cooking it in a large amount of water, so it can turn out a little bit more salty than it would doing a traditional braise. If you're the type of person that doesn't like salt that much, it can be worth soaking your brisket ahead of time in some clean water for a few hours or even overnight to pull out some of the salt from that brisket. This can be especially true for some grocery store brands that are already on the saltier side. For the recipe itself, preheat your water bath to 131 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever temperature you decided you wanted your corned beef cooked at. If you have a spice rub to put on the corned beef, like many grocery store brands are shipped with, go ahead and rub it on now. Then you're going to place it in a sous vide bag, seal it, place it in a water bath, and let it cook until it's been tenderized, about one to two days at temperatures between 130 degrees and 156 degrees Fahrenheit. As I mentioned, at higher temperatures, you can get away with shorter cooking times. Once it's cooked and fully tenderized, take the bag out of the water bath. Remove the corned beef from the bag, then you're actually ready to serve it. Sometimes you can give it a brief sear if you want to just crisp up the outside a little bit, but because corned beef is traditionally braised, it often doesn't have much of a crust on it, so you can just slice it directly out of the bag. I love eating sous vide corned beef on Rubens, with corned beef and cabbage, or even in a corned beef hash. But regardless of how you serve it, you're going to love how tender and flavorful it turns out.